You may remember from my video on the classic daiquiri that I promised I would one day tackle some frozen and fruitified versions. Well, that day has finally come. The frozen strawberry daiquiri actually has rather a venerable history as far as modern frozen cocktails go. Crushed ice was being added to the daiquiris at La Floridita in Cuba way back in the 1930s. And when the blender was popularized by Fred Waring in 1938, he took it to famed home economist Mabel Stegner, who then included a strawberry daiquiri recipe in her 1952 book Electric Blender Recipes, which sounds like a wild read. Add to that the fact that rum was much easier than a lot of other international spirits to get a hold of in the States during and after the Second World War, and the frozen daiquiri was primed to rise to dominance. Now, as much as I love a really simple and classic daiquiri, adding fruit to a frozen one does make sense. In our video on the science of frozen drinks, we discussed the fact that um, the freezing actually dulls our perception of sweetness. And so adding in some fresh fruit adds a natural sweetness as well as a bit of texture. The extra dilution from the ice being whizzed through can wash out flavors, so subtlety isn't as much of a consideration here. The more flavor punches you can pack in, the better. Cold is key here, so you do want to keep all of your ingredients in the sort of fridge or freezer for as long as possible. And as always, we're gonna get our garnish prepped first, so we'll do that now. What we're just gonna do is half the strawberry down the middle. I like to keep the little green bit on the end so that if people do want to eat it or whatever, they have that to hold on to. Plus it's just another little pop of color. And then you just make a few small slices along the opposite way and then you can kind of spread it into a little strawberry fan. So uh, you're gonna do your ice last. So you wanna get um, everything else in there. So grab your rum out of the freezer and then get your sugar syrup and lime juice from the fridge as well. And your frozen strawberries ready to go too. So we're gonna go four or five frozen strawberries. I um, did actually just buy some frozen ones cause then you can kind of have them in the freezer on hand at all times, or you can just pop some fresh ones in there for a little hour or two beforehand if you like as well. And 60 mils of rum. Of course, if you're doing this at home or for a party, you don't have to be too precious, just a good dollop of rum in there. Um, and really anything's fine. Like I just like Plantation Three Star cause it's quite like a kind of juicy and fruity rum. Um, so works really well but you can go for something, um, an aged rum if you prefer, something kind of a little bit darker, or even a spice rum works as well. Then we're gonna go 30 mils of lime juice. 30 mils of sugar syrup. All right, that's obviously kind of more of both of those ingredients than I usually use in cocktails, but you know, everything just needs to be dialed up a little bit in terms of flavor, because you're then gonna add all that ice that gets whizzed through and sort of dilutes it down again. So yeah, don't be afraid of just, of kind of packing in a bit more than you normally would. Then we're gonna go about a cup of ice. Um, you obviously can measure it if you like. Uh, it's not too far off, kind of just a bit under the Boston shaker and it's we're not being too um, sort of precise and precious about it here. If you have bigger cubes, um, then you definitely want to give it a bash. These ones uh, that we have in the ice machine here are actually fairly flimsy, so they'll probably be fine, but I am just gonna play on the safe side because I definitely don't want to break the blender um, and just give them a quick little hit with the hammer first. Pop the lid on and we're gonna give it a whiz. not gonna whiz for too long because actually the blender will start to heat up and kind of introduce heat to it um, if you have it on a high setting for a long time. Um, so it's a pretty kind of short, sharp and get the job done type situation. So really as soon as you can see um, that you've got all of your ice uh, chips are properly kind of blended through, um, then you're ready to stop. Then we're gonna take our chilled glass out of the freezer. Pop on our little strawberry, and then you can add in a straw, because obviously these are not the easiest things to drink without one. And it's quite a good texture, because it's just about holding the straw up, but you know, definitely not too stiff. And there we have a strawberry daiquiri. So now you know. All right, dive in. Obviously paper straws are excellent, but they do go a little bit soggy, so um, this little glass number from uh, Surfside Sips is pretty ideal. There's just nowhere that I would rather be while drinking this than not in rainy Melbourne today. <laughs> mm. 
It's a really good texture because, um, yeah, like it's still definitely very drinkable. Like it's not really um, crystallized at all. It's really kind of soft and smooth and creamy um, and just kind of keeps melting around the outside, which makes it very nice and easy to drink, although much harder for Josh to photograph. And it's really bright and fresh, like even that full kind of 30 mils of sugar syrup, it does not taste sweet. It's got, yeah, like quite kind of bright acid um, and you can kind of taste the rum. It doesn't, it's definitely, again, even though there's 60 mils of rum in there, it doesn't taste really, really boozy. Um, you know, I'm sure a few of these, you would definitely start to feel it, but uh, it's still like a pretty kind of subtle um, alcohol flavor. So if you are kind of drinking one in the middle of the day, then it's totally acceptable. Yeah, delicious. Just maybe use a slightly larger coupe than I did. 